All right, people. So this is gonna be the start of a character character design. So I can't speak. Uh, using multimedia, so we're gonna be using more than one material in the creation of our artwork. Uh, this is what I like to do. You can if you can add others. It's up to you. Uh, I did a preliminary sketch. And then I transfer it over using the window uh, or light box to a final. And this is what I'm going to have next. I'm going to start watercoloring it in layers. And then color pencil. So always enjoy. I'll show you step by step. I did speed it up. Uh, 84 minutes what I spent on it. Uh, creating it. I got into it. So uh, it's probably going to go a little bit faster than normal. Enjoy. All right, here we go. Uh, it's sped up as normal. It's a little bit faster because I spent a lot of time with it, like the last one. So just kind of bear with me. We already did some layers already on the painting job. We're going with more layers. Yes. Mr. Rote went crazy with the layers. Uh, do you have to do as, as many layers as Mr. Rote has done? Uh, no, but I want you to layer the colors. I want you to attempt to layer in the colors so they have a better understanding of color theory and how it's applied, especially like using analogous colors and complementary colors to get what you want and desire. Now, you can see here I'm using black, and I tell you all the time, don't use black, but the creature had black hair, so black was kind of necessary. And I'm using black a little bit as a shading tool, and I'm doing that tapered line, or dagger strokes is what I like to call them, uh, from airbrushing. And I'm doing dagger strokes really fast here to get that hair-like quality. So it's putting pressure down with the pencil and then flipping your wrist to get that stroke, to get that line quality so it looks like it has, uh, has like a strand of hair or a gathering of hair. I'm going to add more colors to that later. Right now, I went over with black. You're going to see this kind of develop and take a little bit more firmer shape because we're firming everything up in this process. We've watercolored it. It looks nice, but we're going to add extra contrast. We're going to add extra emphasis by layering more colors on top of each other. So I'm going to be using umber. I'm going to be using ochre. I'm going to be using a burnt sienna. What are those colors? Umber is like a medium brown, ochre is like a yellowish brown, and a burnt sienna is a reddish brown. All of different uh, intensities and variations. So there will be like an umber right there that I'm using, and I'll go over it with burnt sienna, and I'll probably use ochre as well. Ochre is basically like the color of Simba or his main color in his face. Uh, you can see I'm adding the shadows in there with the colored pencil. Remember, small circles is what you want. You want to apply stuff evenly, and you want to have a light touch and add pressure to the pencil as you go where you want the darker color. And slowly add pressure to even out that color and add it in so you have a nice gradation. Uh, you want a gradation. That's how you're going to do it. This is my second run here. I got the pencils out. I'm going to be flashing some of the numbers. So if you have the fiber Castell set, you can know which ones I'm using. I'm uh, going over, uh, intensifying some stuff. There's the burnt sienna. There's the black. Uh, I'm using different colors and purples so that I can make my colors more intense, make my darkers darker, and leaving the lights alone and let that watercolor bleed through because we want a nice marriage between the watercolor and the color pencil. The color pencil is stiffening up the dark edges and intensifying the color to get a more vibrant depth, to get a more vibrant hue. You see here I'm going over the hair again. I'm using, uh, I think, a darker color. Um, slow down. If you need to pause it, find out what colors I'm using, go for it. Uh, I'm going over both hairs. Now you're going to also notice that I'm going to use, like the colors I'm using, I'm going to use pretty much throughout my piece. That way not one color is located in one area. Because if you do that, you're not going to view the whole piece. Your viewer's not going to view the whole piece. They're going to be fixated on that different color in that different area. So uh, I'm going to be using my blacks all over. I'm going to be using the burnt siennas all over, my purples all over. 
I'm using all those different colors in the layering. So now I'm going to the shirt. I'm using a blue. Blue makes purple. I'm also using a black. Uh, and there's the blue I'm using right there. There's the numbers. And I'm also going to use like a hot pink that I'm also using in the background. Uh, because, again, like I said, like I'm trying to give an example, you want it throughout the piece. You don't want it that one color in one area because that's like color emphasis. Your eye directly goes to that color. Just like if you have like a photograph and they color the apple red, your eye goes boom right to that red apple. Same thing if you're going to have a whole color background. You're going to use one color in one area. Your eye is going to be fixated on that one color. So I'm going back over. I'm adding white. So white highlights to give it more of that nice contrast. Uh, to get it more hair-like. I'm going on light blue here. Uh, reason why you put light blue in chrome because of the sky. The sky is light blue and chrome is reflective. And I'm just adding a black. And I'm using like a 60% gray uh, to go over top of that. So, and then here's the, the purple that I added in the skin tone. It's purple also I added in uh, the, the shadowing and in the shirt. And I'm putting it in the background, adding that purple to the purple I already have in the black. And then now I'm going to use hot pink to lighten it up and to kind of tone it out. I guess I'm, I'm just putting a tinge of color. I'm not putting a lot. Light strokes. There I am done. You can see how much from the start of it till now. You can see how much more intensity it has. Uh, how crisper it is. Just in the end piece. I hope you enjoyed.